The H1N1 swine flu virus is causing illness in people in the U.S. and around the world. UAB antiviral researcher John Ganan has some tips for what to do if you get sick. We're hearing a lot more reports about the H1N1 virus and people want to know, how do I know if I have the swine flu? What are the symptoms? Well, the most prominent symptom is usually fever. Fever is present in virtually every case of swine flu and it's usually over 100 degrees. In fact, it's usually over 101 degrees. So significant fever is present in virtually every case of swine flu. The other symptoms you can expect are a sore throat, a cough, which will usually start out as a dry cough. Other symptoms that may be present include muscle aches and sometimes uh, vomiting or diarrhea. If you are diagnosed with the H1N1 swine flu, antiviral drugs can help ease your symptoms and help you recover faster. There are two good drugs for treatment of influenza. Uh, the brand names of those drugs are Tamiflu and Relenza, and they both are active against the H1N1 virus. Uh, it's important that if you take the antiviral drugs that you start treatment within the first 48 hours after disease onset. So within two days of the time fever starts, you need to be taking antiviral drugs. The antiviral drugs do have uh, activity against the H1N1 virus. What they actually do is prevent the virus from being released from the cells. So when the virus replicates within an infected cell, the virus divides and makes more viruses. In the presence of these drugs, Tamiflu and Relenza, the virus can't be released from the cell, so the virus can't infect other cells. So that prevents the spread of the, uh, of the virus infection and causes the infection to terminate. If you have the flu, staying away from work or school will limit others' exposure to the virus. Dr. Ganan says call your doctor's office before you make a visit.